Morning, afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, ladies and gentlemen. It's Sid from Parks Exterior Cleaning, and welcome to a new video. I'm a little bit ill at the moment. Um, past few days, I've been feeling a bit rough, um, so apologies if my voice is a bit raspy. I think I've overworked it a bit. So having a few days off just to recharge some batteries, uh, yeah, recoup and uh, get ready for upcoming work. Uh, so let's get on with today's video. Right then, so what are we going to be talking about today? Well, today's video is going to be about something I call fear um, and specifically about um, when the next job's coming in. So it's something that with your, if you have a business that's quite regular, so you have your monthly customers, same people every month, and it just continues to organically grow. This isn't really a side of business that you tend to worry about too much. This is more for the jobs, like mainly like what I do, um, which is your one-off job. So you, you're pressure washing people. Um, yeah, your pressure washing guys will have yearlies, but you need a lot of them to sustain, you know, a good income. Um, so you've got your pressure washing guys, your roof cleaning guys, you know, you think tree surgeons, um, you know, what else is there? There's plenty of things, gutter, clear out, gutter jobs, all sorts of exterior cleaning businesses, some landscaping businesses, things like that. Um, yeah, even going down to construction and plumbers and all of that sort of thing. When, you know, when is the next job coming in? What if it stops? You can get to a certain point in business and say you've had your first year, your rough, horrible first year is out of the way and you, you sort of, you think that you're settled. You might be sort of averaging, you know, for the last three, four months, you might have been averaging two and a half grand a month, three grand a month, four grand a month. And you're thinking, wow, your income starts to, your life starts to grow with your income. So you're earning more money, you're starting to live a bit better, you're buying some nicer things, you might be getting nicer clothes. You might have a few more things sort of on finance. You might have bought yourself a, a van. You know, you might have done many things like that that has cost a lot of money, but you're thinking it's okay because if work carries on the way it's going, um, I'll make it all back next month. It's fine. But that's the the, the secret, isn't it? That's the, the, the worry. If, it's always an if. It's not, I know next month for sure, unless you're booked in for six months ahead of time, of course. But if you sort of roll in on a month to month basis and they're sort of waiting for the phone to ring, you might only be booked up for two, three weeks ahead of time, maybe a month ahead of time. You don't know for sure what the month after is going to be like. There's no way to plan it. There's no way to say, yeah, I know for a fact I'm going to make five grand in June. You know, there's no way to know. You know, it could be more, which is great, but it also could be less, which is a big worry for me. So this video is as much for me as it is to help other people out. Because again, like I always say, if I'm worried about something and something's going on in my head, I can guarantee other people are as well. And that's what this channel's about. It's not just about videos of me scraping a roof or pressure washing something dirty. It's about business and how I feel, um, how a lot of you feel, our little worries and thoughts and things that I do well, which I can share with other people. And, you know, again, the comment section down below, there's people give me tips and tricks and stuff in that section all the time. This YouTube channel has benefited my business loads just from gaining some knowledge from other people that, uh, way better you know than the jobs that I am because they've been going for a lot longer um, so yeah let me get back on track anyway so what happens when the work stops you know what if it what if it doesn't carry on I deal with this thought in my head even when I'm busy I could be booked up for a, for another month and I could be thinking oh god but what about the month after that I, was, I think so far ahead in the future it's hard to even enjoy it sometimes when you, you're doing okay you're making okay money your business is doing well everything seems to be going well but I can't enjoy it sometimes because I'm just so worried about if it stops. Same thing with this YouTube channel. I think, I, I'm sure you've all seen my subscribers have went absolutely through the roof. I think it's been 3,500 new subscribers in a week. And I'm like, man, that is amazing. Um, I didn't expect that at all. The views have, have been insane. It's been like 400,000 views or something as well in the last month. Um, insane numbers. But now I'm worried now because I'm like, oh, well, I know it's going to stop. It can't carry on like that forever. I've had like a lucky run and a few videos have like taken off. But um, yeah, it's not going to last forever, is it? So it's it's the same thing as that as it is with business and, and stuff. And the point is, how do we deal with it? What do we do? How do we get ourselves into that headspace where it's like, right, it doesn't matter. Let's just take it step by step and let's focus on today 
and what's happening this month instead of what's happening next month. Um, and this video might also go out to people that aren't doing that well. Um, they're just scraping by, you, you know, you, you haven't been going very long um, and you, you're at that point where it's like, you need the work to come in like now. It's not here, here yet, you need it to come in. So what do you do? How do you deal with that mental strain? Um, and sort of, yeah, get over it really and, and get through it. Um, I haven't figured out the full key, but I'll share some things that helped me out a bit and sort of ground me back down to earth and to reality. And the first point um, to that is, if you are being proactive and you're being busy, you can't really fail. If you're worried about things and you sat at home doing nothing, um, like I am today, I guess, but hey, I'm making a video. So um, yeah, if you're worried about things and you sat at home, you know, not really doing anything, um, that worry is only going to get worse in your head. Now, if you're out leafleting, knocking on doors, working, doing whatever you're doing, it's all a step ahead. It's all a bonus. It's all an another person has spotted your van. Another person might have written your number down. You know, you might have spoken to 50 people and 10 people have said, eh, I'll think about it. And you, you come home a bit defeated and you think, oh, what a rubbish day. No customers. You know, I'm going to I'm gonna have to sell all my equipment. You know, I'm going to go, you know, skint. But no, chances are, you know, people will remember that. People have remembered they've seen you. And then you're, you've implanted a thought into their head now. Like, oh, yeah, I do actually kind of need that done. But they're not thinking immediately. In a week, they might call you. And that's how you start to build up custom futures that are sort of, coming like way down the line. This is all little things that you're doing now that you don't think is helping, but down the line, it's really helping because when you're having an off month and there hasn't been many calls, that person that you spoke to three months ago might just ring up out of the blue um, and you're like, oh yeah, brilliant. So you re we're in like a constant state of, with all these one-off jobs of customers needing to find us. We, you know, we need people to find us constantly, whether it's on your Google, you know, they're searching for, I need my roof cleaned. I need some pressure washing done. You always need people to find us, you know, that's how we survive. So how to deal with that if people aren't finding you, you need to start finding them instead and targeting those people. This is something I've said before with advertising. It's very important to, to advertise for your business in, because the, so, the market is so saturated with these things now. If you just sit around and do nothing, unless you are very lucky and you've got a very good website that is like organically ranked really high on Google um, without you doing much effort to it at all, not really paying much for it, <clears throat> sorry my voice is going um then there's a good chance you're going to have to advertise um or knock doors and things like that and show your face and find the customers instead of waiting for them to find you because whoever's putting you know more money into their advertising whoever's got you know your google adverts your facebook you know ones going around on instagram their sponsored posts are coming up on all over the place there's a good chance that they're going to pick that person because they can see them why are they going to scroll down four pages of google to find your business um, they're probably not going to, they're going to go with other people. So it's important with the advertising and it doesn't have to be paid. You can do the local, um, you know, if you're skint, you can do the local groups on Facebook. I know people that only do that on Facebook. I don't actually do paid adverts on Facebook anymore. I don't really do much Facebook stuff now. Um, just because at the moment there's some law, something's going on and paid Facebook adverts are rubbish at the moment. I'm not really getting anything from them. Whereas before, only a few months ago, that was like my main income. That's how I made every job that you saw. It was either a referral from a previous job, which I probably got from Facebook, or it was a job from Facebook. So, um, yeah, uh, it's absolutely rubbish at the moment. I've probably put about 300 quid into it in the past like three months, and, and I've made money back because I've got a couple of jobs, but it's not like it used to be, so I've sort of shied away from it. Anyway, I'm ranting again. Yeah, you don't have to do paid things. You can post in local groups and things like that. And again, you can just knock doors. You know, just get out there, knock some doors, speak to some people. It doesn't matter what your business is. I, you don't ever hear about a guy knocking a door for who's a plumber, for example. Maybe he's a struggling plumber. When, when have any of you ever had a knock at the door and say, hi, my name's Rob. I'm just a local plumber in the area. If you ever, ever have any troubles with anything or you want to tap fit it outside, blah, 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 just give us a call. I have never had anyone knock on my door and say that. Why? Because that's, a, that's someone knocking on my door and I'd go, oh, actually, that's a really good thing. That's like nice to know. He's a local guy. I've seen his face now. I've met him. I don't need you at the moment. But in future, I will. That's how you're building up that, that sort of in income without really having to do much for it. It's just, yeah, you take a day out once a week and get your face out there. Um, same thing, we all get people knocking on the door about window cleaning. Window cleaning is the most popular one because it's, it's building regular income. Um, but you don't get people knocking on the door for tree surgery. You don't get people knocking on the door for, you know, even a mobile mechanic. You might get a flyer every now and again about things, but you don't get these people like, knocking on the doors and introducing themselves. 
and maybe because that market's not as saturated as it is for window cleaning so if you're not doing if you're doing things that are like one-off jobs there's not going to be as many people in your area doing it as there would be for the stuff that's monthly income because for the very reason that i'm making this video it's hard to get the jobs in and it's scary and it's a big huge risk devoting your business to just pressure washing driveways um, or cleaning rooftops or you know doing gutter clear outs it's hard you need to really be proactive in your in your advertising and getting your face out there um, i might be repeating myself a bit there but i just think it's an important thing to sort of drill um into all of our heads including mine as well because i'm getting some leaflets done i don't even have i've got a roof cleaning business and pressure washing and all of that i don't even have any leaflets at the moment um, i haven't done a single leaflet drop ever i haven't even knocked doors for it so i'm sitting there worried about well have i got enough work because next month's looking a bit quieter um, than the previous months so like my last few months have been really profitable and really good so it's why i'm worrying oh when's it going to end um yeah so I, I it's something i keep meaning to do it's like right no i need to get the leaflet sorted i need to get the sign written on this van um i need to go out and knock some doors once i've got them leaflets um and then I'll have nothing to worry about because I know being proactive and putting effort into into it and not sitting at home lazy when you haven't got a job on, you know, for that day. Um, that's how you get the, the work booked in. So I'll round it up there before this goes on. Basically, don't rely on one single stream. Don't rely solely on Facebook. Don't rely solely on Google adverts. Do everything within your own means. Obviously, don't sign up to five different advertising sites all in one month that are charging you £100 a month like Checker Trade. Do one or two of them, things that you can actually feasibly afford. Because if you're spending a thousand pound a month in advertising, yeah, you might get the work in, but it's a huge chunk of money that's just being drained straight away. And if you're not doing the best with money anyway, it's a risky one, isn't it? So focus on a few things, try and do as many free things as possible. Knocking your doors, local groups on Facebook, um, you know, things like that. Maybe sign up to a couple of advertising things, maybe pay for a few Facebook ones, do a checker trade or a yell or a bark people go on about that um yeah and just do multiple things don't rely on one single stream and uh yeah and then finally just assess your own options and remember this is going out to me as well i'm going to watch this video back and go oi listen to yourself because um i worry every day about these things so assess yourself think if i'm worried about something what am i doing to try and not be worried about it other than just sitting there doing nothing so yeah thank you very much for watching everyone I this video it says 12 minutes on my thing i'll probably cut it down a bit but uh, yeah, hope it wasn't too long. Um, hopefully I get a bit better soon as well because I'm feeling really rough. And then, uh, yeah, and I'll see you in a video in a few days.